In today's video, we're going to take you with us as we venture inside an abandoned Italian hospital that had one of the most mind-blowing morgues that we have ever seen. The morgue, which had over a half dozen marble autopsy tables and formaldehyde left behind, also had a real human skull and bones located on one of the steel autopsy tables. This was completely shocking as neither of us had ever seen real human bones like that in any abandoned building before. Tibias, fibias, cranium, most importantly, the real. So we just found the stairs in the abandoned hospital in Italy, making our way to find the morgue. It's down here in the basement. This is the basement here. You see the stairs right there. Let's see if we can find this morgue. Oh, never mind, we can't enter. I'm gonna guess that way, since it looks like a loading dock. And this is at the end of the basement hallway. Little medical table thrown in here. Some more bottles of stuff. This looked like some type of little washroom. Let's keep looking for the more. slabs. Definitely not something that you see every day there. There's lights in like every corner too, that's cool. It would have been kind of creepy back when it was in operation. Like low light. Death. Look at those slabs. Each one has like a stool too. Never see any marble slabs like this in the United States. This colossal of an abandoned hospital happens to sit right smack dab in the middle of a prestigious Italian university. And it should have been a sanctuary for the sick and injured when this same central Italian city and its surrounding area were struck by a devastating and deadly earthquake back in April of 2009. However, it ended up being anything but that. Like many of the buildings within that same geographical region, the hospital's walls cracked, crumbled, and toppled over after the April 6th pre-dawn trembler, forcing the evacuation of the nearly 300-bed hospital just as it was struggling to treat an overwhelming 1,500 more injured people that had suddenly showed up at the hospital emergency room begging for medical attention. Here's another slab here. Located right off the room with the four other ones. This one's got like a nice comfortable headrest here too. Not sure what that means. Uskida? Looks like here's the viewing area. No, I don't know. People are really viewing autopsy. Yeah. 
You can see some foliage coming in through the uh, cracked window there. And you can see another cross and light over there in the corner. And I got one more over here. This one's got some natural light. See, there's another stool there. Another one there. Bench here. And you got the lights on each side of the window there. But this place has eight tables total. Four in that room. Two in here. And then when you walk over here, there's not much to this room. This poster is pretty cool. And then you go to a really good morgue, which is over here. Two more slabs in it and two body trays. So this place has a total of eight slabs for the morgue. There's a marble headrest. It's actually not marble. That is made out of wood. And that's a lot higher than you usually see headrests. And then here's for the crazy part. These are real bones was told they were human bones. I'm not an archeologist, but that does look like part of a skull. Here's some other bones. And then there's even more in there. See look right there. I don't know what that is. And you come over here, with the two body trays. A bunch of these tubes still have stuff in them. But I'm not touching it and I can't read it anyway because it's all in Italian. This morgue is amazing. Look at that apron over there hanging up. And then this slab over here is sick too. Then you got the drainage over here. And some cabinetries here, glass, this one's glass. Looks like it's some ethanol alcohol. You got some more over here, products and stuff. Probably for autopsy, most likely. It's pretty obvious. Disinfectant. No, I formaldehyde. There we go. I can actually read that. Sick. Cotton swabs. from 
formaldehyde maybe. I think it's formaldehyde in another bottle because it says it right there. Not sure what that is. Okay. Too good. There's a bunch of them down there too. For some reason, you can't access the jail cells. I'm kind of seeing through there. This looks like one of the main stairways. Going up to the second floor from the first floor. And obviously it says something. Dr. Stirpe. So he just came up the stairs. I found some old signage here. You can actually read it and tell that it's nuclear radiology, urology, oncology. If you go this way, you actually have a treatment plan or something. Observation, no. No, clinic notes maybe. Something that way. Some signage on here too. Not sure what it means. But this is the main floor of the hospital. And this would be the courtyard area out here. The complete failure of this Italian hospital has turned into a source of public outrage, controversy, and debate, with many people asking how this structure could have crumbled so easily in the 6.3 magnitude earthquake. So immediately, the focus soon became an investigation with experts eventually claiming that the interior building standards for this earthquake prone area which should have been reinforced because of such and were not certainly factored into this tragedy the hospital itself which was originally built in the early 20th century absorbed an existing structure of an old historic 18th century monastery meaning that altogether the hospital was a sort of hodgepodge mix of centuries old architecture, along with more modern and traditional architecture, with a ladder being the main areas to collapse and crumble. So the hospital's architecture was from several different time periods of construction, some from the 18th century, some from the 19th century, and then some from the 20th century. And this eventually created walls in areas with irregular patterns and shapes that could not withstand the strong swaying seismic activity. Investigators and officials concluded that several sections of the hospital building that did collapse were actually some of the city's newest architecture built in the 1970s and should have been built to resist an earthquake of such magnitude, but obviously was not. The hospital ended up being just one of approximately 15,000 different buildings that were either damaged or destroyed in the 49 cities, towns, and villages around central Italy. Tragically, over 300 people lost their lives in the disaster, and the hospital continues to sit abandoned today, a haunting and stark reminder of the horrific events that took place in April of 2009. Poor dude. Or chick. She fell a long way, broke her arm, her skull. 
and lost her legs. Archways. More archways through here. Pretty decayed in here. Some unique windowage up there. Some supply here. And then another one over here. Not sure what it is. Maybe some type of coagulator. I don't know. Totally guessing. Some old medical cabinets. Keep it moving, see if there's anything else in this place. Bunch of bottles of liquid. Let's see what these are. Look at all these IV tubes still in the packaging. All these bottles. Those look like granite borders, door borders. Incredible. Not that they are. Um, nope, wood. Made to look like granite. Oh, there's some signage. right there. Well, I don't know about the main one, but one of the main ones. Library straight ahead, and we'll go take a look at the library. <laughs> of 
cool that it's still full of books too. These are all medical books. That one's in English. Nuclear medicine. And there's some books up top too. There's some old books too, some old medical books and journals up there. Look at this. Love it. La Presse Medicale. And that's going to take us to the end of today's video on the abandoned Italian hospital with real human bones inside. For more photos from here, as well as our other locations, check out our website at abandonedcentral.com. And don't forget, subscribe to Abandoned Central on YouTube so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And one more thing, if you wanna help support us in creating these videos, please donate by clicking the super thanks link next to the download icon. Even if it's just a dollar, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, friends.